The video that you're about to watch is a sneak preview of Steel City Drones Matrice 300 online course dedicated to the subject of terrain following. Terrain following is a very, very cool feature that's kind of exclusive to the Matrice 300 at this point, and it has a lot of benefits, especially with mapping. And while it has a lot of benefits, it does come with a very complex workflow process that we have to go through that. So this is a sneak preview of over an hour of content that you're going to see on this subject. And if you want to know more information about Steel City Drones Matrice 300 online course, please go to steelcityflightacademy.com and or click on the different links below to be able to see other samples. Thanks for watching. In this video of the Matrice 300 online course, we're going to be talking about terrain following. Now, what is terrain following? This is a feature that's kind of exclusive right now to the Matrice 300. It's not really applicable to any other DJI drone, provided we're just using the DJI application of Pilot. There are ways to be able to do terrain following with different aircraft, with other software systems, and it is not a free process. Now, we're gonna be talking about the ways and methods and workflow for just using DJI Pilot. To start off with, I guess the best way to do is let's describe what terrain following is. Terrain following is the ability for the aircraft to follow the terrain and stay at the same height. So let's say you have a hillside that has 100 feet difference between the bottom and the top. The aircraft will be able to follow that slope of the terrain on the hillside and stay at the same altitude. When that was first announced, a lot of mappers out there and surveyors were extremely happy because this allows us to be able to get and achieve the same GSD, the same ground sample distance on the flight mission all throughout, regardless of what the terrain is. Why is that important? Well, because let's say, for example, there's a lot of deviation in altitude on that. Now that can make a big difference in our overall project accuracy when we're trying to achieve up to two to three, even four centimeters of accuracy overall. Now previously, to get that tighter, we would have to add a lot of extra ground control points on the overall terrain differences. Let's say we had to put a couple ground control points down where it's really low, and then we had to put a couple ground control points right around in the middle area, and then in the highest area. So we're now, in some instances, able to even eliminate ground control points, or at the very least, minimize the number of ground control points needed. So that's why it's such a very beneficial feature that we're able to use. If we're using the DJI software, there's a couple project overall things we have to think about. One is we have to create what's called a DSM model. Now that DSM model is kind of the overall reference that the drone is going to use for it so it knows exactly what altitude is over that specific terrain that it's going to map. So we're going to create the DSM model, we're going to save it to a micro SD card, we're going to load that into the smart controller, and then we're going to pick from that in the software and the features that we're going to use. So there's two different ways to be able to create the DSM model. One is where we have access to the site in advance, where we can just go out and create an overall really simplified mapping mission and get the pictures in advance. Then we can bring those pictures into DJI Terra and be able to create the DSM model that way. If you're going to use the P1 and the L1 a lot, you're going to have to use DJI Terra. And if you use and purchase the P1 or the L1, it does come with a six month trial subscription. So that's a bonus right there. Now, if you do not have access to the site in advance and you cannot fly a simple mapping mission in advance or you do not want to pay for the cost of DJI Terra, there is a second way that we're going to show you how to be able to create the DSM model. It involves a free download, but again, the steps on how to do it is pretty comprehensive. So there's two different ways to be able to go about that. So 
Again, you're gonna have two other videos following this video. And the first one is gonna show you how to be able to create it using a simple mapping mission with DJI Terra First. Then the second way is to go ahead and use the free download that you can use. So with that said, let's go to the next video. So I hope you enjoyed this video and that this video was able to show you how comprehensive this course is. Again, this is just one sample of many that you can see at steelcityflightacademy.com. We also have a three and a half minute promo video that kind of showcases the entire course if you haven't seen that yet. So if you have more questions about anything with regarding the course, please feel free to reach out to us directly and we'll be glad to talk to you. Thanks again for watching. We'll talk to you soon.